Macon, Georgia, a city steeped in history, a place where the past lingers. And nowhere is this more evident than at 934 Georgia Avenue, the Hay House, an architectural marvel, a Victorian masterpiece. But beneath the beauty lies a darkness, an unsettling energy that whispers of another realm. Built in 1859, the Hay House stands as a testament to a bygone era. Its intricate details and grandeur are captivating. But behind the ornate facade, there are secrets, unexplained occurrences, cold spots, whispers on the stairs. This is a place where the veil between our world and the next seems thin. The grand entrance, once a symbol of prosperity and warm welcomes, now feels different. It feels heavy, a portal to another time. Some say it's a gateway to something more, something unsettling, something unexplained. The Hay House is not just a house, it is a vessel, a container for memories, both joyful and sorrowful. And some say those memories have manifested into something more tangible, something that lingers within the walls, something that makes itself known. The Hay family, prominent figures in Macon's history, built this grand home. They spared no expense. The house was a marvel of modern technology, indoor plumbing, central heating, a speaking tube system. It was a palace fit for a king. William Butler Johnston, a prominent businessman, was the first to call this house his home. He lived here with his wife and their ten children, a large family, a happy family, some say. But tragedy struck. A daughter died within the home. Some say her spirit never left. The house changed hands over the years, each family leaving their mark, adding to the tapestry of energy that permeates the house. But the Hayes are the name most synonymous with the house. Their presence still felt, their stories still whispered. Their legacy is etched into every room. In the grand ballroom where music once filled the air, you can almost hear the faint echoes of laughter, the joyous celebrations of a bygone era. But beneath the joy, a current of sadness lingers, a reminder of the family's tragedies. The stories are numerous, whispers of unexplained occurrences, servants refusing to enter certain rooms, the feeling of being watched, the stories passed down from generation to generation, becoming local legend, one of the most enduring stories is that of the young girl who died within the home. Some say her laughter can still be heard, her footsteps echoing in the dead of night. She's a playful spirit, they say, but her presence is a stark reminder of the fragility of life. Then there's the story of Mr. Johnston, the patriarch of the Hay family. His presence is said to be felt in his former study. The scent of cigar smoke lingering in the air, the sound of his voice faint but distinct as if dictating another business deal. And who is the woman in white, seen gliding through the halls, her face obscured by a veil? Some say she is a former resident, heartbroken over the loss of a loved one, her sadness palpable, her presence chilling. Section 4, The Unseen Residents' Encounters with the Other Side. These are not just stories, they are experiences, real people, real encounters. People who have entered the Hay House as skeptics and left believers. Their stories are compelling, their terror tangible. There are countless accounts of visitors feeling a sudden chill, a hand on their shoulder, their name whispered in their ear, unexplained noises, objects moving on their own. The feeling of being watched, of not being alone. One visitor, a self-proclaimed skeptic, described feeling an overwhelming sense of dread upon entering the house. He felt a presence following him, watching him. He left convinced that the Hay House was indeed haunted. Another visitor, a young woman, claimed to have seen the ghost of the young girl. She described her as wearing a white dress, her hair in pigtails. She watched her for a moment before vanishing into thin air. Section 5. Paranormal Investigations Unveiling the Truth The Hay House has been the subject of numerous paranormal investigations, Teams of experts armed with EMF readers, EVP recorders and thermal cameras have descended upon the house hoping to capture evidence of the paranormal and they have not been disappointed. EVP recordings have captured disembodied voices, whispers, growls, unexplained sounds that defy logical explanation. Thermal cameras have captured cold spots in areas where no drafts exist. Areas where people have reported feeling a presence, EMF readers have spiked in areas where paranormal activity has been reported. Fluctuations in the electromagnetic field that suggest a source of energy beyond our understanding. The evidence is compelling, the data undeniable. The Hay House is a hotbed of paranormal activity, a place where the veil between our world and the next is thin. 
a place where the spirits of the past refuse to rest and where the search for answers continues. Section 6, Hay House Today, a legacy of history and mystery. Today, the Hay House stands as a testament to a bygone era. It is a museum now, a place where visitors can step back in time and experience the grandeur of the Victorian era, but it is also so much more. It is a place where history and mystery collide, where the stories of the past are kept alive, where the spirits of those who once called this house their home still linger. The Hay House is a place that will stay with you long after you leave. It is a place that will make you question your beliefs, a place that will send chills down your spine, a place that will leave you wondering if we are truly alive.